the weather is, um, for the most part, it's pretty constant. We didn't really know what the temperature was on any given day because we didn't have thermometers or anything. Since I've been home, I've been able to check a couple times, and it's almost constantly a high of 90 degrees, um, which means that the average daytime temperature is probably, I'd say, 85 to 87, and then it peaks, obviously, around noon. Um, um, the coldest it ever got my entire mission was maybe 70 degrees. Um, and you could usually tell, and that was always at night, and you could tell who the older American missionaries were because that was cold to them. Um, you would see people start putting on pants and coats if the, if the temperature ever got down that low. Um, <clears throat> in terms of climate, that, so that was constant for most of the year. Um, in about, uh, I would say May to June, May through June, maybe some of July as well, there's a rainy season. And while I was there, there was a bit of a drought, so the rainy seasons weren't terribly... There wasn't a whole lot of rain, but when it rained, it usually rained really hard. Um, and there's about a month where there's no rain, and then there's about three weeks where there's usually a smaller rainy season for reasons I don't understand. Um, and that just means it rains hard maybe five times over the course of those three weeks. Um, and... Then after that, there's a slightly cool period. And then around December, right around Christmas time, um, there's the Harmaton, where um, something that happens with the Sahara, I don't remember the physical processes anymore, but a bunch of cold, uh, dry air comes rushing out of the Sahara towards the coast. And it brings a lot of sand and dirt with it. And it's the only time Africa ever gets dry. And um, you'll wake up in the morning and, it's, and it looks like you've got Provo inversion. It looks like you've got smog. And within a couple hours it'll clear up and it'll be just a normal day except for a little windy. Um, I'm told in the mountains it gets worse, but we were on pretty flat territory. So we didn't have too much of a problem with it. But it was really interesting to see people who are so used to that humid climate have to deal with that little bit of dry. Um, I had a companion whose skin uh, did not handle it well. And it was just a, an interesting little phenomenon. That lasts for about maybe a month, I think. Um, and then it goes back to being hot and humid. <laughs>